this cannot continue. I always say that there's too much happening that really shouldn't be happening within the passport acquisition uh, system. If we talk about Goro people, these Goro people are outsiders. They do not work on their own. Because if the Goro person collects somebody's money, they need to work with somebody from inside to change their dates. They work with people from inside. I'm not saying all of you, but there are some of you who are engaged in it. And this should stop. The blame is always on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Meanwhile, it's the agencies, and I'm sure even some of our staff are involved. Public servants who are supposed to be giving public service to Ghanaians. The Vice President has led the digitalization effort with my, 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 my support and, 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 and all of, of my, my officers to put in place an online system. Now the online system is being manipulated so that people can make money off it. There's an investigation going on and some names have been mentioned. And there are people from outside, a cartel who are working with people from inside. Anybody who has been here for more than a year, from Monday, please do not come back because you've been changed. We want to bring some sanity. Every time politicians are corrupt, politicians are corrupt. Meanwhile, it's some public civil servants who will do things that shouldn't be done? And then they put it on uh, politicians. We come, we do the right thing. I'm trying to bring sanity into the passport system. But no.